You don't know it, but this is take two because I was so pissed off by this that the first time through, uh, I made the video on mute, got it all the way over, halfway processed in Windows Movie Maker when I realized, hey, you were muted. Um, we can't have this. Uh, uh, you see the headline there, Missouri City bans edible plants from front yards, April 7th. This is not the first time that I've seen this over the last few years. I'm going to link you to this so you can hear this man, in his own words, tell you how he loves his garden. He's put 300 hours into, on average, his garden. And the city started harassing him last year, um, saying that you couldn't have any vegetation uh, within 30 feet of the road and all this, you know, pesky shit. Uh, tried to say that, uh, and in the video you hear one of the town officials say that the garden is overrun, but... Uh, as you get down here in the post, you'll see a photo of the garden. That looks like a pretty well-kept garden. I don't see any nuisance weeds here. And hey, wait a minute. Whatever happened to, I own this land. I have a right to provide for my family, not only a right, but a duty. And I didn't sign any contract saying that I had to eat your GMOs. Absolutely not. And, and like I said, this is not the first time I've seen this. We have to stand with these people. Uh, right here, Sugar Creek is far from the only city to pull this type of invasive nonsense. Uh, Miami, Florida, Oak Park, Michigan. Um, and I believe this Oak Park, Michigan one was an older lady who was teaching the children in the community about growing food and food safety and all those things. Yeah, we're going to throw her in jail. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Oakland, can't have it, can't, no, no, I, I, I don't know, um, I'm going to link you to the petition which I have signed, uh, and you can see what my comment is, this is tyranny at its sickest level, anyone who supported banning a man's right to grow his own food on his own ground should be hung. And, and see, this is what, I, I don't know if I'm more pissed off at the government entities that tried to institute this, or the goddamn neighbors that pushed it. It's offensive to you to see a man gardening and providing for his family. <laughs> I, no, I don't care if it is offensive to you. You're the one that needs medical attention, mental medical attention. If this is offensive to you, if you're going to create a law, this is not law. The law says you must provide for yourself. You must be responsible. You must be a good steward of the land. That's what the law says. Your goddamn statute going to steal this man's money, uh, terrorize his children. No. No. I would ask any anonymous hackers who see this to use your skills to erase the government of Sugar Creek from Internet existence. Need our masked brothers and sisters flood your streets? Repeal this rule and free these fine people. And I did email them. I know this is probably not going to do any good at all. I'm going to ask you guys to do it anyway. Just flood them. Just for the fact that they know the entire planet is watching. I'm sure they delete anything with this headline. Um, you know, but I did uh, take the time to attach a little picture for them here. Um, you know, I don't know if they'll look at it or not, but uh, sooner or later they're going to see us. Unless they just, you know, simply go back to supporting this family rather than terrorizing them. Anyway, links will be below. Uh, to the post so you guys can get that video, uh, read it for yourself, and um, link to the petition so you can sign out as well. Uh, yeah, and if anybody uh, agrees to this and uh, wants to get more organized, um, say, Op Sugar Creek, uh, contact me, and uh, let's stand by these people. Much love. Many thanks. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers.